Hey guys, it's Ashley, your scrapping nerd, and I have day three of 31 days of cut file fun. Make sure you go to MK's channel at Some Assemblage Required and check everything out. I have this uh, wooden window with shutters from Mente, and this is the cut file for day three. They love you, it's adorable. Uh, an 8x10 of our wedding photo and then this paper is Authentic Voyage and I thought I was going to use that red paper but I end up switching that out for like a cream uh, nautical knot paper and then these are the stickers that come with it. And so I'm going to start with this paper and it has like a the small line from the branding strip so I'll get that cut off. I really liked the stripes behind the shutters. I think it turned out really cute. So um, I'm just gonna, because I'm gonna mat it in that cream nautical paper he here, I cut off the edge. It helps kind of frame in this large window that'll be put there. So I'm just getting that all worked out. I do a lot of fiddling with this because the window is so large, I take it on and put it back on the layout multiple times. Um, I tried to edit most of that out, but you'll see it a lot. And of course I got the back paper so that it's not so thick. And so I took the wood mente and I um, put Tim Holtz walnut stain, uh, distress ink all over it. And so here I'm just cutting out the top section of the window. You can see my hideous mat underneath. Don't judge me too much for that. Um, it's a disaster. So I sanded the little sections where I cut and then I just stained or used that ink to stain the parts that weren't. And so I cut out the top of the window because I wanted our faces to not be covered by the window and my idea was it's like a slide down window and so I'll put a little kind of latch on that bottom part so it looks more like you just slid the window down. But this is kind of the idea of where I'm going is with the love you at the bottom. So first I'm going to get this cut out and I thought maybe I wanted us to be more towards the top but then there was a bigger gap at the bottom and I'm going to cover that up but I didn't want it to be so big so I ended up putting the window frame all to the top of the photo and I like that. I think that turned out good and like I said we're still we're not covered up by the window so and that's the idea and so then now I'm gonna bring the hideous mat back in and so I can trim off the sides of the photo this is one of my favorite photos of us we had the sunglasses with our names and wedding date on them and that was fun to have some pictures taken with it and so as you see I that's the idea of where it's going to go on the layout and so I'm going to get the shutters glued down and I put them on top of the window part as opposed to just sitting next to them because I like the idea that it has some dimension on the on the layout so it's like folded open as opposed to just sitting next to it. So I'm going to get this glued on and I wanted it kind of at an angle but because the of the size of the window and the shutters it couldn't be at a complete angle. Um, it helped also putting them, gluing the shutters on the window frame to help kind of be able to angle that more. And I had thought I was going to use some of these cards on here. And so that seahorse will stay there for a while, but in the end it doesn't stay. It just got too busy. The I backed the Love You um, with some blue, like a starfish paper from the Authentic 6x6 pad that I had. And the Yumi and the C that'll go on there um, is from one of those 3x4 cards that I cut out, the sentiment. And so I decided that I was going to put this Stamperia Sea Dream uh, die cuts. They're like chipboard die cuts with cute sea animals and these flowers on here. And the one at the top left is an octopus, which I loved, and then the floral cluster, but that'll be removed too. Like I said, in the end, things just started getting too busy because I really wanted to fill out the bottom of the, the window. It helps cover the little gap from the photo, plus it just 
um, adds to the title section. I loved the whale, and so I decided I needed the whale for sure, and I liked that it kind of nestled in with the um, cut file title. And so gluing the cut file was kind of interesting. There's um, foam behind the letters, and only in certain sections because parts are on the window and parts are not, so that was uh, interesting. And then I thought it looked a little too maybe blue at the bottom, so I have a Sizzix die, and I cut out these um, delicate white um, like leaves, and I put them down there just to help break up all the blue that's there. So I'm just getting those all glued and situated in there. I think it added a lot to, to the bottom of the layout. I really liked the you, me, and the C. <laughs> so that, that one stayed, but I did finally take off that seahorse. It just um, was too much down there. And so I'm getting everything kind of glued down. And you'll see I put a little latch here on the window and it's actually from like an old watch um, the little clasp that would clasp the watch closed I took that apart and glued it on there and it just adds um, something to the layout so it looks like the window latch there added a couple more of these uh, Stamperia chipboard uh, starfish around but that's the layout guys make sure you go and check out um, all the people that are in participating in the 31 Days of Cut File Fun. I'll have all the information down at the bottom in the description box. Thank you to everyone that's liked and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit those buttons. And everyone have a great day. Thanks. Bye.